Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Cultures video. Today the video will be a bit different. Uh, I opened the game and I was requested to answer a survey about the game. Uh, and I thought, what a great idea. I can, uh, I can make a video uh, answering to the survey and talking about the game at the same time. So here we go. And the first question is, how do you rate Rise of Cultures overall? Okay, overall it's a good game, uh, it has its bugs, of course, uh, every game does, but it's nice to see that they are trying to improve the game every day, making new content and uh, they release the test server, I made a video about it. Uh, so they are, they are really trying, adding content events and fixing some bugs. Overall, the game is good and I, I believe that it will be better in the future. Did you participate in the Ancient Greek event? Yes, I completely I completed 100% uh, of it. So yes, I completed all the quests. Uh, how do you rate the Ancient Greek event overall? Uh, I liked it. Uh, it had, well, the event added uh, nothing new to the game, just the uh, same old uh, mechanics, but overall it was a nice event. Uh, I found it a little hard to get uh, the upgrade tokens this time and I couldn't even finish in, in top 1% uh, in, top 1 uh, in, the, in the ranking, so I, I know that uh, you have to spend money in order to get to top 1% but I, I was expecting uh, a little more uh, rewards for the for the event but overall it was an okay-ish event how much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about ancient greek event I like the event minigame I had to do to get the prizes. Yes, I already said it a lot of times. I really prefer uh, crafting the, the items that I need uh, instead of just clicking uh, something and get the prizes. So yes, I strongly agree. Uh, the effort I had to put in for my re rewards was fair. That's what I said. I I believe it could be better. So I agree. I don't strongly agree, but I agree. The task for the event at the right level of difficulty. Again, when you make an event that if you want to complete it, you you only complete it in the last day, and you won't be able to get uh, in top 1% if people spend money and you don't. The difficulty is there, but at the same time, it's not fair. So... I believe the event at the right level of difficulty. I neither agree or disagree. I enjoyed the theme ancient Greek culture of the event. Yes, I I really like that time period in history, so I I really liked it. The reward for completing all customization kits appealed to me. It's difficult to complete the collection. I I didn't. The the only uh collection that I've complete uh, was the um, the Mongol uh, event and uh, and that's and that's because I got pretty lucky I I got like uh, three uh, daily specials in a row uh, in three days they have to improve that I know they they, they release uh, skins uh, in the in the season pass so you can complete your your collections but I don't really like the uh, the fact that you most likely won't be able to complete a collection at the end of the event if you don't uh, get lucky. It's just based on luck. So, no. Uh, the contents of the chests appealed to me. I noticed that they nerfed the, the rewards. Uh, they weren't so good. Uh, as the previous events, so I'm going with disagree. The grand prizes of the event appealed to me once again. Yes, they did. 
but I I couldn't uh, reach them because I didn't spend any money, so I'm going to neither agree or disagree. I enjoyed the graphics, menus, characters of the event. Yes, eh, the, the artwork was pretty decent. The daily special prices of the event appealed to me. Uh, they stopped rotating skins and now they had uh, like commanders and gears and uh, and stuff like that to the daily specials. Uh, in the previous events they rotated it twice. You you had uh, the same opportunity to get uh, a daily special uh, twice in the event and now you have just once and if you miss it you you won't be able to complete your collection so no and next uh, how much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about the evolving building elysian field for the ancient greek event the different stages of evolving building uh, felt meaningful uh yes it it was the first building that gave you some boosts for your troops. I know for a fact that the next building uh, in the next event, the Persian event, will boost your um, your ushers, uh, the damage output of your ushers. I I made I talked about it in my last video. So, but this was the first uh, building. So yes, uh, strongly agree. I I like the way this is going. Uh, you have some, well, bad buildings over there, like the Trojan Horse or the Hydra, that don't give you anything, the, they are just useless. But now they are adding uh, significant buildings, which is nice. The evolving buildings Elysian feels benefits regarding the gameplay felt powerful. Like I said, I liked it, it was the first uh, that gave you boost for your troops, but I don't really want to to click strongly agree, so they might think, oh, really? They felt powerful, so we have to nerf it, but I'm going with agree. The adventures of the evolving building uh, were present at Leary. No, 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 no. And the building is bugged until today because in the description it says that the boost is for your is for the life of your troops uh, you you upgrade the um, the hp of the troops but if you click on it uh, it says that uh, it's for a recruitment time i know uh, because of the wiki that it boosts and i made a test it boosts your your troops hp not the uh, recruitment time but in the building it says that is the uh, recruitment time so no uh, no <laughs> uh, it, they weren't present uh, clearly it's clear to me uh, what kind of rewards i'm getting from evolving buildings uh, yes no no once again no because they it is for troops HP and it says that it's for recruitment time, so no, they are not clearly. Uh, I like the visual appeal of the evolving building. There are better buildings, let's be honest. There are better buildings, but it's an ancient Greece theme, so I'm going with agree. In the ancient Greek event, we introduced some new rewards that you could win uh, for the first time. are they talking about no a, additional turn in uh, negotiations wait ah no they didn't the the, the turn negotiations uh, it's on the test server the it will start on the Persian event they didn't have it uh, on the Greek event what the hell are they saying I can't say they didn't have it Joker for negotiations. Um, well, it is kind of useless that you get the joke card, the Joker card. I mean, uh, I mean, you might be lucky, but overall, you're just getting a random item that you can spend like 60, 70 uh, coins to make, so it it's not that great. 
uh, so very poor. Resource selection kit. You don't need resource selection selection kit. I mean, they are talking about the the overall the, the all the selection kit. I mean, not uh, just the goods one, but mm, adding it to the um, to the reward pool. I don't think that's uh, good because it takes away um, space for something good to be in there uh do you understand and uh, no no one really wants uh selection kits i have a ton of them a ton and i just don't spend them so poor how much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about the customization rewards for the ancient greek event the benefits of the customization felt powerful it's more of the same uh, they didn't have anything new about the rewards. It's just damage output, uh, food output, goods output, and research points. I, I mean, it's just the same as the others. I like the visual appeal of the customization rewards. I mean, yes, uh, like I said, the, the artwork is nice, so I agree. The runtime of the customization rewards is fair. It's 10 days, I think. Uh, they are all 10 days, so yeah, mm, it's fair. I mean, it could be it could be more, it wouldn't hurt anyone, but it's fair. In the Asian Creek event, we introduced an event ranking. <laughs> oh god, this will be interesting. The more points you collect, the higher you rank, then better additional rewards you could win. Did you notice the new event ranking? Yes, I did notice it. How do you rate the prizes that you could win in a ranking? The prizes were good, I can't say otherwise, they were good. So, well, good, I mean. Uh, in this event we had the following mechanic, when you missed out uh, the daily special for a certain number of times in a row, you were guaranteed to get the next time. Did you notice in this mechanic? Yes, I did. How would you rate this mechanic in general? It's a good mechanic, but even though you can get it uh, for sure after some time, it took a lot of time to to fill the bar. So I like that you you get the the reward uh, for granted after some time, but they should lower the number of the attempts that you need to get it. So it was okay. Is there anything else about the event that you would like to share with us? Mm, nah. Demographic information about you. Okay, uh, so this is not... Uh, this is questions about me, not about the game anymore. So we finished the, the survey. Uh, I, I would really like to... Uh, to get your opinion in the comments about what you thought about the event and if I'm wrong in something or if you have a different view of the game than me, uh, feel free to comment it and feel free to talk uh, with me about it. Um, so for today that's it, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.